Hey, what's good with y'all? Say let's your boy Bob Dez. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on. Also, check out the other medias, man. We'll be streaming on the Twitch. We got merch. We got Discord. We got a second channel. All the good stuff down below in the description box. Definitely go tell us if you can. I'll appreciate it. And yeah, let's get into the video. So, we're here with the Haunted Mound Squad member. <laughs> that's, that's really all I know about this artist, bro. I've, 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 this is my first time hearing of him, I believe. You guys been recommending and saying just dropped a new mixtape that's like fire album over the year. Everybody saying uh, the project is crazy. I mean, the project is called Burning Bar, Barn. So it should be fire. Dang, I messed, I messed up saying the name. <laughs> the artist's name in particular is Buckshot. Buckshot. I've never heard any music from him before, so this is gonna be like the first, first reaction like crazy um but i love it though when an artist that i haven't checked out like not even like one time uh has like a project that gains a lot of attention and you guys would like me to check it out uh i think it, uh, it, it results in a dope thing because i'm i literally don't know his style i know he's haunted mountains so i know he got that kind of um slice your throat type of <laughs> maybe energy with him or something like that so yeah i'm interested in seeing what man sound is this, this project's only 11 songs and it got a few music videos in there so um I'm excited. So, all right, this is the first track off the project. This is Keep It, Keep It Out. Keep It Out. Unless someone did a typo, but Keep It Out, right? That's all right. All right, let's go. Oh, no, it's, it's that's an interesting um artist little tag bug bug <laughs> that's what's up that's, that's that's keeping it simple i like it i like it Yeah. <laughs> it got the man just got like the clean shaved face and the um blue eyes and whatnot. It just got like you know like um like an Abercrombie and Finch cap of cap of appearance. But that's the thing about them like they they probably will cut you. <laughs> they probably will cut you despite despite appearances. They got a vocal bag. <laughs> Take it on the gate. In the field with the goat and the horses. Hey, yo. Boys is different, man. Boys are different. Definitely, definitely don't want to see him in a forest. <laughs> hey, man, it seemed like he got like a, a nice vocal back. I think he might be the um, the Quavo of the Haunted Mouth. <laughs> if you need a chorus or something, you might want to go to Buckshot. It seemed like okay, one of the less harsher songs I've so encountered from Haunted Mouth that conglomerate. So um, all right, that's, that's dope. That was smooth. I didn't expect that. Alright y'all, here's the next track. This is Revenant, produced by Oscar. Let's get it. Hey! Hey yo! Okay! Talking about man came through his fast. Isn't that a character on Apex? Am I wrong? They be like 
like singing and like chant more. <laughs> that feels like a spell in time. <laughs> Bombing on a tree? This boy, what is this rap style he's doing? It's like he's not letting himself take a break. Like, <laughs> it's almost not like he's rapping too fast for his own vocals. Like, he's like um that Aaron Yeager meme, and it's like he's like in his head saying the next verse. <laughs> While he's rapping the current voice, that, that, he's, he's going crazy though, he's going in, he's going in. Hey. He seems very versatile. He seems very versatile. But this one's there. Hey, that's nice. You seem very versatile. You seem like you got a lot. Oh, uh, you got a big bag that he can dip into. You know? <laughs> He's nice. Let me get on this. Let me get on this. Buckshot. Hey. Yeah, I'm the revenant, even though I really don't know what relevant means. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna try to say mint, but I just could. <laughs> revenant, a person who has returned, especially, especially supposedly from the dead. Oh, and that definitely is an Apex character, because I feel like he, he does have a thing where he comes back from the dead or something like that. <laughs> but, uh, Re Revenant, okay. Let, this dude got some versatility. I see he, he, got, a, he got a rap bag. He got a vocal bag. Those are the two things you really have to have, a rap bag and a vocal bag. And if you like, can, like be versatile and switch from switch, you can like have Buckshot featuring Buckshot. For real, like, that's what's up. All right, y'all, this is track number three. This is Haunted Hayride. They always be mentioning a Haunted Hayride. I imagine it's probably not the one you guys <laughs> have in mind. They probably like kidnap somebody and I don't know. But all right, let, let's get it, let's get it. They keep in true religion and business. Yeah, Just on it, mouth. Drunk driving? <laughs> I can't condone that, bro. I can't hold up, boy. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> drive safe, kids and adults. <laughs> Everyone drive safe. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I the potential, bro. He got it, bro. He got it. He definitely, like it's more palatable. Palatable, like it's easier to digest if you're not really used to this haunted mound stuff. It's um, he I would say he's very surface haunted mound, maybe. <laughs> like, but like it's it's, it's hey man. <laughs> Hey man, you see, you pull up, you drive in or something, and you see Buckshot in the next car besides you, you might just want to wait till he pulls off. <laughs> I would say, like, his style isn't really 
Like, he's, he's saying Haunted Mountain, he's saying Haunted Hayride, but he isn't, like, saying, like, you know, Hop Cemetery being like, yo, slit your throat. <laughs> Wait, so I would say, like, if you, like, knew the Haunted, um, Haunted, the Haunted Mountain agglomerate, Buckshot would probably be the, a good way to start off, for sure. And, like, I like it, I like it. Alright, y'all, here are the next song. This is Buckshot featuring Cemetery Barn Owls, produced by Oscar and Graveman. Let's get it. Yeah. 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 They is that owl sounds, bro? <laughs> Please tell me that was owl sounds, bro. No way, they just made a uh, owl, um, owl hooting. How do, what is the sound of an owl? It's like who, a hooting <laughs> into a beat and it sounded nice. That's kind of different. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> See, cemetery just gets straight to it. <laughs> Said I like knives better, but I'll do you just like Bambi. Let's go. <laughs> That's so funny. Like it's nice though. Hundred billion dead. Not that many people on Earth. He really hates traffic dogs. <laughs> I love unique stuff, bro. Like, unique stuff, you can't find anywhere else. That's what makes it unique. They put owl songs in the beat, bro. Like, <laughs> and, um, it made it, they made it sound pretty dope. And then, um, Cemetery, you know, he held it down. Mans came through with his little, uh, evil energy. <laughs> really no way to sugarcoat that. But then, um, Buckshot came through and held his part down, too. Like, Buckshot, like, bro. <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. It's a good start. Sorry, y'all. Here's the next song. This is Over the Hills. Let's get it. They got all the um, prime forest location spots, like, saved on their phones. <laughs> Over the hills, over the If y'all just on a, a hike jog and y'all see man posted on a mossy rock like that. <laughs> these guys, man, these are different. They're different. Hey yo, that's my shot. Over the hills, I 
Our singing voice is not bad. He got like a good melodic voice. That one was more of his, more of his darker songs. This one. <laughs> He said, I be in your walls. <laughs> I'm the shadow you see when you walk in at night. <laughs> hey, that one, he, he, tapped, he tapped into his dark side on that one. But nonetheless, though, that's the singing voice is there, bro. This whole Haunted Mound sound, you know, that like dark, dark, little bit um, evil type of vibe. And then you mix it with, with um, Buckshot's, um, the singing and stuff like that. Like, it's, it's a nice mixture. It's like soft and crunchy peanut butter at the same time. I don't know if that was the best analogy, but we move on. <laughs> All right, Cemetery's back, featuring on the next track. How you like that? This is Hollow <laughs> Hollow Ground, produced by uh, Grimmore and Cemetery. <laughs> Let's get it. These beats be on hitting, okay. Let me say, cold case, wipe my DNA. Now I'm balling out. Life insurance claim. <laughs> what I'm off is neurotoxic. Point of return too far beyond it. Empty eyes, unresponsive. All I hear is incoherent talking. I mean, it's not good for his health, but like, it, it, and then like a drug bag rap bar. <laughs> I got Benzodex and lemon juice, Ritalin, Vyvanse, and those are drugs I don't even know how to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> Have they tried therapy? It's like, ha 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 He be on his own when he's on cemetery on the track. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Try to instigate something or something. <laughs> Alright, this is track number seven. This is Sawmill, produced by Oscar. Oscar putting up a, a quadruple double. Man's is out here producing for his life. <laughs> Let's get it. I like also another dope thing is how they be like they be like having they start off in the beginning and then they'll like like kind of reverse it and then let the song start over again 
and then they be having like them sound effects people talk over it it reminds me of like of them OG mixtape days where everyone had like a DJ for their mixtape and they would just talk over it I mess with that I don't know I just mess with that whole um style for for Okay, so he turns it on and off. <laughs> I was just saying how he don't he don't be like getting into like that dark stuff like crazy crazy. I take that back. <laughs> but the way he, he presents it is maybe in a, a soft or it's like he'd be singing like it's in a more melodic way but uh all right so he got a dark bag i understand <laughs> ripping through my mind <laughs> So I'm a producer, man. Yeah, definitely shout out to um Oscar 18. <laughs> these are these are nice beats. These are like these are definitely haunted mountain type beats. Don't let the bare face fool you. Buckshot is known to get into some hairy situations. I think that's I think that's actually a bar. Bare face known to get into hairy situations. That's a bar. But uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get it, though. <laughs> all right, this is the next track. This is If I Had a Gun. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, if I had a gun, I think I'd blow my head off. Red trail, kiss the sky when I throw my Molotov. I thought he was gonna use the gun to 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 rain some terror on some people. Ah, <gasps> oh, this is so different. <laughs> he said, uh, "You can't really." <laughs> I'm just I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words, man. All right. If I had a gun, I think I'd blow my head off. Red trail, kiss the sky when I throw my Molotov. Bug shot, I give a fuck. Well, I never gave a fuck. And if I had a gun, I'd shoot at every single cop. Yeah. If I had a gun. If I had a gun. Hey, yo. Always making a ballad about the. No, I don't know how to phrase that. <laughs> Again, this whole this whole haunted mound. Um, you know, he'd be talking about. He said he's gonna blow his head off. He said he'd be needing meds. This whole like dark stuff. It'd be feeling like a little bit conflicted when you bop your head to it. But I mean, it's music, I guess. Um, but yeah, this this is so unique. It's it's, it's really interesting to listen to. Alright y'all, this is the next track. This is Long Walk Home featuring Turnabout. And it's produced by Oscar18. Thank you. You probably already knew that. <laughs> but alright, let's get it. If I 
It's a long walk home. Make a bus before we go to shortcut down the dirt road. That's a red. Hey, yo. be in the walls <laughs> turnabout they got like similar styles is turnabout in the conglomerate maybe they need recruiting probably is i guess they, they probably wouldn't feature anybody from outside because they're not if you're not gang gang you can't hang but um yeah man <laughs> the content it may not be for everyone you know about all like the dark and stuff like that but um like these 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 songs if you take it for just music it'd be hitting like them chorus drops in like Every chorus I've been listening to is mad catchy and would probably be stuck in my head. It's a long walk. Like that draw like it is it's catchy, it's dope. Like it's it's a it's a nice it's a nice tune and it's very unique, very unique. Alright, this is track number ten. This is In the Morning, produced by Graveman. Is that cemetery? Because cemetery we call some cemetery the graveman. It's almost I don't know. But alright, let's get it. <laughs> This is sounding. Hmm. <laughs> this is this is sounding pretty. Um, this is sounding like like I ain't gonna say comparisons because people might like really try to hang me or something like that. But um, definitely no, no. I'm not gonna make comparisons because I know people sometimes get radical when comparisons that they don't agree with are made. But um, this sounds like some nice stuff. Some nice stuff. Dark hours of the evening, closing in, wildfires burning over way back where I should have been. Mm. I strike a match and then ignite it when my day begins. I stare into a thousand yards and getting sick again. I'm still gone early in the morning. Both will bang deep, man. Every morning, last five dog takes your face on the front porch watching the world end. Hey! <laughs> that, that's nice. 
I said it from like the first song I heard of him. Man's can sing. Man's can sing. Or he just got he got like a he got an appealing vocal voice. At least to me. I don't know if that's the same case to y'all. Yeah, then he got like a little slow song. I you know, this slow song is like 30 seconds in. He was talking about putting a dog down. But I mean you take what you can get, you know. <laughs> he smashed that. I, I like that. And then they had a little dropout to where they just focused on his vocals. That was cool. That was definitely cool. So alright y'all, here y'all the last track off the project. This is Break the Dawn. Produced by Oscar 18. <laughs> Let's hear it. Oh, no, it's, it's real. real. Haunted. Haunted. Mound. Mound. Oscar. 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 Fuck. Fuck. I can't, I can't not smile, bro. <laughs> it's like the try not to um, smile or laugh sound when he, when he does that, man. Oscar, you also need to up upgrade your producer tag. This Oscar, it's just, I mean, okay, I mean, when you work, speak for yourself, you don't need my. All right, let's go. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Yeah. Break the it's an outro. Let's see what he's talking about. Fuck, fuck. I just stay away, trying to break the dawn. Hey. Ev flow and and he's so descriptive too. He makes you feel like you there. <laughs> so it's basically a song about staying up past your bedtime, right? Like <laughs> I said, descriptive, and I mean that, bro. Like they're. They're, them buckshot, I'm not trying to talk about buckshot, but like verses and whatnot, like they'll like really like speak out what is going on in a brain, and it'll like it's like that's what like a good author in a book does, you know, like imagery and stuff like that. Like they let you know you said like, your your ass is sitting on an empty shelf, like you could have just said shelf, but it's empty though. Like <laughs> detailed um, analogies about this darkness that the group is based off of is. It, it does something, it does something, bro. It does something. So, there you guys have it. That was Buckshot Burning Barns, the project, the mixtape. For this being my first time hearing the artist, and um, he's become like a conglomerate on himself, on him that I kind of know their sounds from, you know, from listening to like Cemetery and whatnot. Um, he stood out, bro. It'd be one thing if he came on here and he was like, like a Cemetery clone, but nah, he, he got his own little lane. He, he got that guy's little nice little vocal box. Pause if necessary. Still got that that darkness he's rapping about like goats liking him, the horses not, and um death and whatnot, you know, like he still got that, but he, he revised it in, in a different way to where yeah man man just nice. He, he definitely made a, a a good impression, first impression. Overall I'll say this album has squeezed me eleven tracks, you know I don't really like big albums. Eleven tracks is definitely cool, 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 precise amount of tracks on it. And he chose to switch it up, he had some little slow songs, he had some songs where he didn't what he where he wasn't as dark as some um, other songs, he had some songs to where, you know, if he stepped inside a church, I I night something. <laughs> you know? But you know, like, you know, you see kept it kept it versatile. But no, but it's being like his first mistake. It is nice. This is definitely almost um, solid, solid project. All right, I'll try to keep the tradition of um, what you gonna call it, picking a favorite song. It is do be hard on first listen. You know, you gotta kind of let them things sit out and see what songs you're gonna come back and run to. But let me see. Barn Owls, yeah, Barn Owls, yeah, that, yeah, it's kind of clear. Barn Owls is probably my favorite song. <laughs> that they're mixing them, them owls in with the beat, and then of course they got Cemetery on the track. Um, that that was probably my favorite song over here. Um, but there's a few others that would be good for consideration, but Barnard will probably be my favorite track as of now.
So there you guys have it, man. Let me know what you guys think in the process. You guys got a favorite song yourself? Uh, any background knowledge about the album that you think I should know? Uh, let me know down below in the comments. Also, let me know what you guys want to react to next down below in the comments. I've been reading all the comments, so don't hesitate to comment. But alright y'all, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn the game, turn notifications on. Also check out the other medias, man. Again, we'll be streaming on the Twitch. We got second channels, we got merch, we got Discord. All down below in the description box. Definitely go check those out if you can. Again, I'll appreciate it. And yeah, man, thank you guys. But alright y'all, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been Boy Dads. I'll see you guys next time. We out.